Today we're doing something different because several of you sent me this video of some TikTok where they were building uh, do-it-yourself body armor, taking ceramic tile, <laughs> denim, and duct tape. And so we did the same thing. We've got piles of it to go together. I don't know how well it will work, but I would not trust my life to it, but we don't know until we try. And I guess with everything, there's a morsel of truth because this is some level four body armor that stops all the way up to 30-06 the, uh, with the armored piercing rounds. And as you can see, there are ceramic pieces in it. Now these are much more dense and they have got to be better quality than a hardware store tile, but we don't know until we try. Three, two, one. So if your life is more important to you than hardware store tile, you need to check out our sponsor, Safe Life Defense. They make a hyper concealable hyperline vest that is a level 3A rated, and it is the thinnest body armor on the market at 0.18 inches. I mean, we're talking less than a quarter inch thin. It'll stop 44 Magnum shotguns, stabs, and slashes. We tested their first generation, and we were mag dumping submachine guns into them at point blank range, and it just stopped everything. Now, their second generation generation hyperline is actually thinner and lighter and it has this memory seal contouring technology it activates with your body heat and it will start to just hug your torso so it's not like wearing a sheet of cardboard or a floppy piece of material it just forms itself to your body so it is more concealable and more comfortable best of all you can use my promo code top shot for 10 percent off anything over at safe life defense so now you can defend your life with some hyperline now shut up and shoot of course, 22 up first, and we're gonna be generous and start with four tiles, because if you're carrying 16 tiles in your backpack for just a 22, this has to stop it. Let's see, I don't know. <laughs> That's, we got a good hole. Okay, one, two plates stopped it. It looks like it stopped in the second plate. My money was on, no, this is not gonna work. There is our bullet actually in the first tile. Okay, so for a 22, stopping in one tile, ceramic tile, okay, two. It probably would have gone through two. Uh, it it would have gone through one, I mean. Well, let's move on up. Five plates for the nine millimeter, just because I want to see it work. Let's throw nine. This, this is my uh, Canic uh, Mete SFX. Hollow point, subsonic. Well, it fell over, but I can tell we're good. So we definitely went through one, and... Two, oh, wait a minute, there's our bullet in the second plate, but of course it, it broke the third and it cracked. We have structural damage on the fourth and it cracked the fifth, but it stopped in the third. I gotta say guys, I'm kind of impressed. This is interesting. All right, five plates again, 45 ACP, and this is literally the only 45 we have at the range. So we're going time again. Okay, <laughs> we have some blue jing showing. We definitely dented our fifth one. We impacted our fourth one. And there, between two and three, so it stopped in the third, the third plate. This is pretty cool. I'm gonna buy something that I think my life is actually worth, but if I was like stuck in a hardware store and terrorists ascended upon it, I would totally run to the tile aisle right now, at least if they had handgun calibers. We're jumping over to the rifle calibers because this is going so good. 12 and a half inch 5.56 barrel. This is my LaRue stealth build. And we're going green tip. It was quiet, that's for sure. I don't think we stopped it. <laughs> okay, it slowed it down a lot. It looks like it went a whole inch into ballistics gel, just an inch. So we're gonna we're gonna dig that joker out. Uh, but yeah, we we've got a see-through hole through all six panels. Oh, it fragmented on this side. You can see the fragments going down and dirty in there. That's ceramic. Great. So not only do you have a bullet wound, you have ceramic in you. Some of that may be a steel core. There's a piece of jacket. So it slowed it down enough just to hurt really good. Our final test with our final tiles, we have seven left in front of the block. And of course, it wouldn't be a YouTube video without a 50 AE Desert Eagle. <laughs> I love the flash. I haven't done that in so long. <laughs> that is so much fun. Okay, let's uh, see how we pulverize this thing. And I do think we pulverized it. Uh, 50 caliber hole, perfectly done. Two, three. That looks like 
oh my gosh, that does look like a smash. This is just a break, and this is just a break. What you're seeing here, the last tile was the one I had as an example. It was not duct taped. So our duct tape and our denim is actually doing something evidenced by that. We did not have penetration into the fifth and sixth. Actually, the fourth one is still solid. I did not expect this. And so that means right behind in front of tile number three is our 50 caliber slug. How cool is that? This is not NIJ certified in any way, shape, or form, but if you are ballistics on a budget and there's only handguns to go up against, you could get some duct tape tile and denim out. I'm surprised. But if your life is worth more to you than just $20 at Lowe's, Safe Life Defense has you covered. This is their Hyperline. Once again, code Top Shot will get you 10% off over at safelifedefense.com. Thanks for watching today, guys. Okay, love you, bye-bye.